So news just came out. The Lions have given Jared Goff a massive contract extension, making him the second highest paid QB in the NFL on a per year basis, just behind Joe Burrow. He signed a four year $212 million extension with $171 million guaranteed, and that puts it at $53 million per year. And this contract does affect the Packers because, as we all know, the Packers and Jordan Love, as of, as of about 10 or so days ago, are able to sign a new extension for Jordan Love. And before this deal came out, I was still thinking that Jordan Love would probably make over $50 million a year with there being a chance that he could become the highest paid QB in the NFL. He could potentially jump Joe Burrow when it came to $55 million per year. I do think that Love has reached that upper caliber when you look at the way that he played to end last season. And so now to see Jared Goff, who had a really good year last year, led the Lions to the NFC Championship, and he gets $53 million per year. And I just think in my mind, there's no chance Jordan Love makes anything less than $53 million per year. The fact that Jared Goff got it, I believe that Jordan Love is a better quarterback than Jared Goff. Yes, Jared Goff has had a little bit more time in the league. He made it one game farther than Jordan Love in the Packers last season. But I think overall, Jordan Love is, is more talented. He's a better quarterback in my opinion, even though Jared Goff, he's a solid QB. Um, so to see Goff get $53 million per year, I would imagine Jordan Love is sitting back there at home or, or wherever he is. Pretty happy right now that he's probably going to make at least $53 million per year. And the thing is with these contracts for any position, the longer you wait, you, you know, you wait and you hold it out, the more that these other position, your QBs sign these deals, the more that you're probably going to make. And so that could be a reason for Jordan Love to wait even longer to sign a deal because there are, you know, a couple other quarterbacks who, who may get deals in the future. And so the longer Jordan Love waits, the more money he probably will make. I know the Cowboys and Dak Prescott may sign some kind of deal this offseason. I sort of feel like the Cowboys may want to move on from Dak after this next season, potentially, even though they have said it's a priority to sign Dak. I'm not sure if I believe them. But if Dak were to sign a new deal, it would probably be even more than Jared Goff. And so let's say if Jordan Love waited till after Dak got a new deal, Jordan Love would probably make even more than Dak Prescott. And so with this deal coming out, I just have a feeling that Jordan Love is probably going to become the highest paid QB in the NFL. Um, even though, you know, you can argue, is he better than Joe Burrow? Is he not? Joe Burrow has had some more, you know, playing time and has had more time to show things consistently than Jordan Love. But I think that for Jordan Love's camp and his agent, this is a good, is a uh, good sign. The Packers, on the other hand, they probably could be sitting there thinking that they wish they'd gotten this done sooner. Maybe he would have made a little bit less, but I think still, regardless, even if this deal hadn't come out, Jordan Love still is going to make, I mean, close to this amount of money. And so um, I still don't know when this deal for Love will come out. Um, you know, they don't have to get it done before the season starts. I just think that there's a high chance that it happens. And one thing to watch is, is it going to be a four-year deal, a five-year deal? Jared Goff got a four-year deal. Lots of the other quarterbacks who last year signed new deals like Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson, Jalen Hurts. All of them signed five-year deals, and so Goff gets a four-year deal. He is a little bit older. Maybe that's why um, they gave him a four-year deal. He also made, Jared Goff made less guaranteed money than Burrow, who got 219. Goff got 171. Herbert got 218 million guaranteed. Lamar Jackson got 185 million guaranteed, and Jalen Hurts got 179 Point four million guaranteed. So that's a question for Love. He's going to make over $50 million per year. Um, I just think there's no way he doesn't. He's probably going to make more than Jared Goff. I don't think there's any chance he makes less than Jared Goff on a per year basis. The question becomes how much time and what's the guaranteed money going to be? So those are my thoughts. If you want more Packers content, feel free to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next time.